Hello, everyone. My name is Scott <laughs> James. Welcome to the Red Hat Project Coffee Break. I've got my coffee. Kat Parsons, uh, who is joining us today, also has her tea. Uh, Kat is a singer-songwriter based in L.A., and you can download her amazing, wonderful single called uh, Talk to Me, which is from her recently released album. Go to catparsonsmusic.com. The link will be uh, down below, and you can download that song. Um, this coffee break is a series that I'm doing with the Red Hat Project, which is about figuring out what works for authors, artists, and musicians. Right now we're talking about Kickstarter, tips and tricks. So Kat, uh, we'll start with, uh, can you tell us a little about who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. So I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm based out of L.A. Um, I do a lot of touring. I've toured in 22 countries and um, play a lot in states as well. And I'm releasing a series of three EPs. EPs are, sh are short albums. I'm releasing a series of three EPs this year, and that's kind of what my Kickstarter campaign was based around. Okay. Excellent. Um, yeah. What was your project? And uh, tell us some details like the money and how long it was. And Definitely. Okay, so I ran a 30-day Kickstarter campaign, um, and it was for $15,000. Um, and I was raising that money for uh, post-album expenses such as artwork, manufacturing, and promotion of the album, hiring a PR person, hiring web designers, um, kind of coming up with marketing strategies that would help get this album out to, um, to more people so more people would find out about my music. Sure. Makes a lot of sense. So you <laughs> were successful. Um, yeah. You raised the $15,000. Yeah, so I raised... Um, 17727 on the Kickstarter website, and then I also did a Kickstarter launch party where mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, where I live, I invited um, people on my mailing list from Los Angeles, and they were all invited to basically a house concert where I did a performance um, with my brother, John, and we unveiled this kind of funny Kickstarter commercial that we had made that was using um, my music it was like a prescription drug commercial, but it was for Cat Parsons yeah. music. You know, all the problems it'll solve and all the side effects that you'll have. And so we unveiled that commercial there, and everyone just hung out. We had some um, yummy food, and then a basket was just there for people to give donations and drop in whatever they wanted to pitch in towards the Kickstarter um, thing. And so mm -hmm. overall, total with that party included, I raised just shy of 20000 Wow. Congratulations! That's uh, that's inspiring. <laughs> Thanks. Well, aside aside from the uh, live event, which is sounds like a great idea, were there what was the other most successful tactic that you used uh, during the campaign? Yeah, I would say um, a couple things. One is that personal connection. I think is the best um, way of of having people take action. So be so the live party was great because there's personal. Um, action and then the video I think the video is very important you have to do a video because you can connect with people so much easier on that and it's a really good idea to show your track record so it's not like you're just coming out and saying hey give me your hard-earned money I there's something I want to try you know I had a video that showed a lot of my touring experiences and kind of the work that I had put in to lay the groundwork um, for what was coming up so I think it's really important to have a video to really, you know, connect with people and let them know kind of where this is coming from and what you, how hard you've been working um, for this to be at the place where it is and how hard you're going to continue working. And Because I think oftentimes people don't really understand what the product is. Like many people who kickstarted me have no idea what they kickstarted me for. If I ask them, they're like, yeah, I helped make your album. I'm like, okay, that works, you know. Huh? <laughs> um, I think it's just people want to support you because they like what you do or they trust you or they know that you work really hard or, you know, whatever. That's interesting. So uh, it's sort of the theme between the successful tactics that I'm hearing from you is, is, is the personal connection, like you mentioned at the beginning, and that whether people really knew specifically what you were doing was less important than, you know, sort of believing in you and having a connection. Yeah, true? and having a track record. So, track you know, record. having, you know, you're not just, 
Yeah, having a track record, having something that you can show, because because we can all do things that don't cost money to demonstrate, you know, what it is that we're working on, um, whether that's you know showing a chapter of the book or um, playing a song or you know showing your tour adventures, kind of giving as much as you can to to people um, to really help them know you and believe in what you're doing. Nice. It's been how I've. That's been my way of succeeding in my entire career. Good to hear. <laughs> uh, what about what about what didn't work as well? Is there anything that you didn't do that you wish you had, or something that didn't go as planned? Um. Yeah, you know, I wish that I had been able to uh, deliver my rewards sooner. I did my Kickstarter campaign a little prematurely. So because I wanted to get it at a certain time of year where I thought there would be a better shot at people tuning into their email boxes and stuff like that. So I would have done it closer to the actual um, release of my albums probably. And also one thing I really recommend that I did do was the 30 days, um, keeping the campaign short because um, people, I find that most people give in the beginning and in the end. And so the more that you're able to just, like, connect with people for a month, is a, it's a long time to be going out a campaign. 90 days is just, like, really fatigues people, I think. So 30 days gives it some urgency, gives it some excitement, and the countdown clock and all this kind of scarcity things really make it exciting and people want to be involved in you achieving your goal. That makes a lot of sense. Um... Was there anything that surprised you about the process, maybe uh, from the analytics or any of the other feedback? Well, that's one thing that I would have done differently, um, is I would have paid more attention to the analytics so I could answer this question better. Okay, okay. You know, I wasn't really tuned into analytics when I did this. I'm much more aware of analytics now. Ah. Um, but in general, you know, is it, a lot of the crowdsourcing sites will help you with this, so it's worthwhile getting involved with them, you know, letting them know about your project, planning it with them, um, so that really, because they want you to meet your goal also, um, and meeting your goal is going to be beneficial to them as well. So, you know, as many people as you can always get involved in your pro project and get excited about what you're doing is always going to be a good thing. Indeed. Sounds like sound advice. <laughs> uh, so along those lines, is, is there anything else uh, that you have that's a tip, you know, for other folks that are starting a campaign or doing one right now? Um, I would just say, oh gosh, not really. <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> uh, no, I mean from uh, the stuff that we talked about earlier, you know, you you covered it. So it's okay, thanks good. for all I of that. I mean, you, you packed a lot of uh, what's that? Do a video, do a short campaign, be personable, and try to give as much as you can. And, oh, that was the other thing is that I really um, made an effort for my rewards to be way better than they would be, you know, that they're getting way more than they would after the time, at the time of actual purchase. Although, I, again, I have to tell you, I think mostly people gave because of a general feeling of wanting to be a part of something, Versus because of the rewards, although a lot of people did want me to call to sing them happy birthday. <laughs> all right, that's all. That's all uh, excellent learnings, and thank you for passing that on. And thanks for being thanks for being on the show, Kat. Oh, uh, my pleasure, and I wish luck to to you and to everyone who's doing this. It's um, pretty exciting, and I hope that you're all excited about it. Excellent. Yeah, uh, Kat Parsons. Wonderful singer songwriter. Go to <laughs> catparsonsmusic.com. You can download her single. It's called Talk to Me. Her album is also called Talk to Me. My name is Scott James. This has been the Red Hat Project Coffee Break. <laughs>